The Mighty Mighty Boston's announced their breakup on Thursday, January 27, in a statement posted to the ska band's official Facebook. After decades of brotherhood, touring the world and making great records together, we have decided to no longer continue on as a band, they wrote. Above all, we want to express our sincere gratitude to every single one of you who have supported us. We could not have done any of it without you. Love Always, the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Formed in 1983 in Boston, the ska innovators released a total of 11 studio albums over the course of their career, from their 1989 debut Devil's Night Out to 2021's When God Was Great. In 2003, the group went on hiatus after more than a decade of non-stop touring. The break ultimately lasted until 2007, when the Boston's reunited to throw their 10th official hometown throwdown concert. Over the years, they weathered many a lineup change due to touring commitments and other responsibilities, ultimately ending their nearly 40-year run as a nine-piece that included frontman Dickie Barrett, tenor saxophonist Tim Johnny Vegas Burton, bassist Joe Gittleman, drummer Joe Sirwa, guitarist. Check out the Boston's breakup announcement after the jump. Earlier this month, Barrett exited his longtime gig as the announcer on Jimmy Kimmel Live and was replaced by rising comedian Lou Taylor. It's unclear whether the change was related to the disbanding. One of the band's final festival performances turned out to be the Massachusetts iteration of the 2021 Punk in Drublick Craft Beer Plus Music Festival last September, which was headlined by organizers No FX at the Palladium Outdoors in Worcester. Pennywise and Get Dead were among the other bands to take the stage during the fest, 